So, I literally would just have to hit play to start episode 5, which basically picks up not far from where we were at this uh, Civil War uh, memorial site. So, what do you guys think? Should I try to start episode 5 right now, or should I just hold off for another day to actually do it all in one sitting? Because if I do it right now, chances are I might have to stop like midway which would kind of suck, but, you know, cliffhangers. So what are you guys thinking? Should I keep going or should I maybe call it a day or what do you think? Okay, I got one person saying why not. So that's one vote to at least start episode five. <laughs> okay, he's saying start. Anybody else in chat still awake or active? You wanna see me start episode five? At least to see what happened during the crossfire. Alright, well, one vote, I think, is good enough. Alright, let's start the season finale, no going back. After this, um, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do, because I actually don't have season three yet. And I kind of wanted to play the Michonne, uh, spinoff, too. I don't think it's actually necessary to play that, though. Like, I don't think it really fits into... The storyline that we have going here but i still thought that it would be interesting to play um and it's significantly shorter like i think it's only three episodes as opposed to the traditional five episodes a season but um let's go ahead and just get this started let's see how far we can get today Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be cool. And we are literally dropped into the action here, so Really, game? Like, we don't know this by now? Fuck off. Let's get into the story. Oh, well, that's not ominous.
Oh, she jumped. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, what is she doing on the ground? still shooting. Mike I saw got hit. I think one lady... The... Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Oh! I gotta do something here. Oh! Oh! Go to the baby. Go to the baby. What are you doing, Clem? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't realize this was a button mash. Wait. What are you doing? I got it. Oh my god, save the baby. Holy shit. I didn't even see him out there. Where do you think he disappeared to? Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out so of ammo. So do something. Quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, what is Clem gonna you do? She's got to. Get she's got to hold the baby. She already is. You can just go. It is my evena. This sucks. He has a much more English, motherfucker. I kill every one of you. If I can just get over to that side of the wall, I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? How is she gonna cover you? Woods. I'll, I'll try. She's yeah. gotta worry about the baby right now, man. Good. Good. I Fine, I'll... The distraction. Okay? All right. I'm not going. <sighs> These adults are useless. Hey! What are you? And you still get shot, you no, no. fucking idiot. Okay, good work, Kenny. So there's only two of them left, I think. Luke, I'm sorry. That ain't your fault. He got me in the leg, but I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. Nick is still on my shit list now. His actions needlessly got Sarah killed as far as I'm concerned. You get out here, or I put a bullet in this kid's hand. Shut Kenny. up! Kenny! <laughs> uh, hey, Kenny, what are you doing? I'm ending this. Get out here, right fucking now! This is my shield, my dash! This is my shield, my dash! This is my shield, my dash! This is my shield, Oh, and now she's turned. She got shot in the chest, not the head. Oh, God. Arvo, I had to do it. I'm sorry. I guess that really was his sister. She had turned, man. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. That is a fucked up way to go. And why are you just standing there like a deer caught in the headlights? Do something. Okay, that works too. Thank you, Kenny. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Thank you, Bonnie. At least somebody's trying to be useful here. Not to say that Jane didn't help, but holy shit, if he had, like, another weapon or something. <sighs> One Jesus huge clusterfuck. That was, uh, that was intense. No shit. I thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Are you, are you okay? I, I think so. I didn't know this man never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way that didn't deserve it uh, he kind of did he kind of did deserve it different. he deserved it he was trying to kill us yeah that's why I did it but it felt wrong hmm I guess you do have a heart of some sort Are you sure about this 
As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. Hmm. I guess the sex was good enough for her to come back. Also, achievement unlocked. Blood and iron. I didn't realize I didn't unlock the achievements for this episode. Interesting. Hmm. How did this? This happen? ought to be very interesting she then. Turned. Just like that. Yeah. Sorry, Rebecca. Plan spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just. She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. This is sad. Don't this worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You <sighs> rest easy. Oh, God, Kenny. <laughs> you piece of shit! Hey, hey. It's not actually his fault this time. Stop, guys, like he's not the me. reason Rebecca's over, dead, man. but he ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Okay, Whoa, Kenny. What are you doing? Okay, doing the Kenny. Same thing this asshole tried to do to us. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. You're just gonna make it worse. Is it his house? Food? Please, please, I can take you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. For food. See? He wants to help. Oh, well, yeah, he's stupid. got a gun. He's just trying to save his skin. Yeah. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I I not want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Oh, Kenny, for God's sake, off. Kenny. If he's telling the truth, it could <sighs> save all of us. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay um, off, Kenny. She just helped us. Yeah. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited. Look, to okay. Have a girl just, the just chill the fuck out. It doesn't matter why it happened. We have to move on. We need Think to get the baby, the baby somewhere. Kenny. Yeah, thank you, Bonnie. Thank Their you. Their supplies. We need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I think hell has frozen over for me to actually like side with Bonnie over everything because you guys know how I feel about her considering what happened in episode uh three well two into three but yeah everyone needs Look, to chill the fuck out so we can get the baby to safety when I heard the gunshots I I knew it was a mistake if it helps the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good but I didn't Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. So, you want a cookie? You want a cookie for doing the right thing? If you have one, I'll take it. What I'm saying is, I'm here to try to make this work. If I get a cookie for that, then awesome. I still don't like you, All I can Jane. Do is I really don't. I promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm Look, if it makes him Kenny. feel better, let him point the he's, gun at him. He's in a dark place. Yeah, he is. We gotta keep an eye on him. I know, Jane. Everything he's been through. He's <sighs> lost. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going I'll to make do this my work, best. I'm not making any promises. I'll do my best. I, I mean, I'm not Superwoman. Come on, slowpokes! I don't really want to get into too much Dove because it might be spoiling, but she's shown signs of why. 
I'm still like on the fence with her. But maybe if we get to finish the episode today or get far enough, you'll see why I'm not a big fan of her. Like as broken as Kenny is, I still like him more than uh Ugh. her. Wait up. And that's saying Wait. a lot. We need to stop. No. No, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Arvo. Hey, what I say? Look, don't provoke him, just... When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Oh, jeez. come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. All right, just everyone, please. I'm fucking talking to you! I say stop! Okay, you okay, stop. Kenny. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. Just chill the fuck out. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. Mike, I don't think You're he's right gonna here? listen to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got Clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. What? Okay. Oh, I see why. I see why. That's actually smart, Bonnie. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horseshit. <laughs> and it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that um, well, they're not all like that. Messages. I mean, a lot of them are. are. Let's are be honest, but... Me? Yeah, they're not all like that. There are good men too. Like Lee. My friend Lee. Yeah. He was a good man. Well, yeah. I wish I had had a chance to meet him. I do too. Me too. Yeah. I wish he was here now. If Lee was here, half of this shit would have never happened. More. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Bandages from where? We got nothing. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? Mm. I'll be right mm. back. We're gonna talk about that later. <sighs> Damn it. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, uh, I've been better. So, there's going to be two big decisions that I feel that I'm going to need your guys' input here. on. I'm not going to say what, but, yeah. Try not to think about it. Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop. Yeah, you make Everyone a good point, Joe. Just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? You can't blame yourself. We all made mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Some of us more than others. Yeah, but you more. said it, not me. That ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. Where the hell did you find that? Whatever, just use it. What I miss? Hmm. Uh, nothing much. Yeah. yeah. Do I, I really want to? Trying to guess how far this place I... is. Okay, fine. I'd like to get off this lake sooner than later. Fine. Well, that'll have to wait a bit. I'm fine. You're not, but we're not going to hey, get into Clint, that right now. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but. I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, that a girl. Get the feeling the two That's of you need stand, to talk anyway, but only so. for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. This is gonna be pleasant. Go on. I'm going. I'll leave you two to talk. I know there's some drama between you two. I'll leave you. I don't want none of that. 
I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean... I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Little AJ. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. Yes. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Can I change your bandages? I was going to click the first one, you but I think maybe I should ask like him this. versus just saying I'm going to do shouldn't it. shouldn't have to do a lot of things. Yeah. All right. Let's get it over with. Okay, cool. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. I don't even think he or notices. You. Oh, I literally... Okay. Come on. Up. So how's it look? Mm. I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm... I'm so sorry, Kenny. That bad, huh? You ain't got nothing to apologize for, Clementine. This wasn't your doing. Yeah, but I still feel sorry. Like, I can't even imagine what that feels like right now. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna royally suck, Kenny. I'm sorry. So... Yeah. I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. Yeah. So, this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. Eh, you're a big guy. I know you'll. Uh, Holy fucking oh, hell. Yeah. Sorry, man. You need to stop squirming. Easier said than done, Clem. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah, okay. You're right. Okay. God almighty. Uh, the, I'm hearing the hiss the from the junior. stuff. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, well, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. Mm-hmm. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. That's on Carver. That's not that, your fault. Every time I look at Alvin Jr. here, no. Alvin should be here raising this boy. It should be him. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. It's not your fault, though. Carver's a fucking lunatic. I'm glad he's dead. Yeah, you didn't miss too much, freaks. Just the results of the shootout. Uh. Basically, all the Russian people got killed except Arvo. All done. And we yep. more or less to took go? him hostage. Oh, and Jane came back. She came back and actually saved us at the last second, so. Yeah. And Luke Let's got shot out. during the uh, crossfire, so he's limping. So, yeah, our little measly group is getting smaller and smaller by the moment. But yeah, you didn't really miss that much at all. Apart from what I just said. Also, another achievement. Wow, did I not finish episode 5? This is weird. Is that it? I mean, I hey, finished it. I'm talking to you. Because I know what happens, what? but the achievements it? are still popping up. That's it's what? what pretty mean, strange. What? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, god damn it! Kenny, please. We still more walk. Still Some more walk. hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. You don't know uh, that. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been oh, lying this whole time. Come the stop fuck on. Fighting. Jesus. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? For real. Where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Yes. Please. Yes. That sounds nice. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. 
Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. You know, as bad as it is to have a kid in this situation, I am grateful no, for AJ. That's all you. Because I feel like Kenny would be a lot less um, unhinged if not for the baby. Huh, it worked. Wouldn't guess that it worked. Me neither. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. Yeah. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. I think he looks more like Alvin, and I'm not saying that just because he's black. So, I'm really hoping that Alvin was actually the father and not Carver. Because fuck that guy. Fuck him in the air. Today's my birthday. Oh. Near as I can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. Oh, Clem, little old. brother. Oh, Clem. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. For real. He ain't that old. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. Hmm. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. <laughs> I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. <laughs> Probably. What did you study? Majored in art history. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Kenny. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Was saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, where the hell did you figure, get that? This is as good a time as any. Yeah, where did you get that? Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He he didn't think people should drink. Yet he had all of it to himself. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. True. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Aww. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah, it was. Yes. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That well... Was... I got first watch. Oh, Kenny's triggered. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. Hmm, you know he's I upset if he doesn't want to drink. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Could we have the baby Thanks, at Kenny. least? Oh, or not. Okay. Yeah. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. <sighs> I know. I know. I just... As much as I don't care for don't her, I'm kind of glad she's, she's here in a way. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, I still she don't... Back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, of well, course. It ain't no secret how you feel about For it. real. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. Yeah, it was. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. It only took ten, ten minutes. minutes. Man, that's <laughs> longer than I'd last at this point. Oh, my hey. God. All right. It wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. <laughs> Sorry. Forget oh, I said Oh, my God. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. 
Oh, Clem, you're still uh, so innocent. Yeah. Yes, yes, that that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. Oh my god. That's kind of sad in a way. He wouldn't last very long. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. I'm don't be modest. the Casanova here. Thank on you. All the ladies. Worked on me. Bonnie. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. Really? They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. They, yep, well, I ain't a man, it. so they can take that shit somewhere else. Yep. I'm betting Luke and Bonnie had a thing to Clint, some degree, too. Go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Okay. I mean, I'll try, but... Alright. Um... Okay, so I got control again. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to talk to him, but at the same time, I don't. You know what? I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Because, I mean, he's freezing, too. Nobody seems to be thinking about that right now. Won't do us any good if he, uh... Good evening, I'm sorry about your sister. <laughs> Thanks, Jag. Can I say anything else to you? Leave me alone, please. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand. I understand. But, ju just to be fair, she did turn. I didn't shoot her, you know, while she was alive. How are you doing this uh, afternoon? Actually, I think it's still morning for you, if I'm not mistaken. So how are you doing this morning? Alright, I guess I'll talk to Jane, and then I'll talk to Kenny. Because, um, Kenny, I think, is going to be the most difficult. But I'll talk to Jane first. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? Will it work? I wouldn't have expected a bottle of <laughs> Will it work? Yes. Will it work? That depends. What is it? I don't it's know. Read the from... fucking bottle. Probably. Well, I appreciate that, Jack. Thank you. She likes him. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. It might be walk I wasn't awkward. Expecting to, you literally fucked him. You know. It can't get any more awkward. Around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? I like you to think so. You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Ain't that the truth? Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? Oh yeah, Jag, by the way. Um really good. I made affiliate. Any? So you wanna sit? Yeah, that it's happened. Okay. I just um, might farm a little. What the um, hell? Sure. I'll drink it. Probably gonna die soon <laughs> anyway. You, okay. Ah, oh, shit. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. Really? There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds, Sounds stupid. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Wow, that's really stupid. Yeah, Clem. I was drunk. The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. Oh my god. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. 
My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Oh my lord. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Hmm. It's funny what you remember as a kid. I guess when a you're deal's older. a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. For real. <sighs> Time to not make it weird. Oh, so I could have actually failed there? That's good to know. I never. Okay. Well. Yeah. Want to sit here? No. That's. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Go okay. sit next to your Wherever lover. You like. Stop stop being silly. Ah, baby steps, I guess. At least she's actually sitting with them. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, I can either talk to him or offer the bottle. I don't know what's the better choice here. I guess I'll try to offer him the bottle. Although I have a feeling I do that, and he'll be like, I have to keep a clear head for the baby, or I have to keep a clear head to watch, uh, you know, for walkers or anything. So I guess I'll try to talk to him. Although I have a feeling he's going to give me lit for drinking. Eh, we'll see. We'll try it. There, there, little guy. Come sit by the fire. I got you. Hey. Don't be. Oh, hey, Clem. Don't be mad, please. I'm starting to think she might be a bad influence on you. <laughs> Girl your age, it ain't right. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to disappoint you. You're not, hun. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. Well, okay. At least. We're on the same page there. It's You're not nice mad mad at me. Just uh needed some air. I understand. There's air everywhere. Clem, don't get smart. You know what he meant. It's been a rough I'm few sorry hours. For for how I acted back there. After Sarita was Well, I'll be damned. He's I finally just, apologizing. I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. Yeah. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I... I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. At least you acknowledge that, Kenny. I can be a real shit sometimes. And Stop. that too. No, it's true. But I... Okay. See, this is why I, I like Kenny. He will admit he fucks up sometimes, so you know? I didn't raise Takes him a like big I man to admit that. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple of years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. Mm. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. Mm -hmm. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. Yeah. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Sweet. I got them both to come back over. See, this part I didn't remember. You know, like, I didn't know that you had to, like, try to re-convince them to come over. Which I guess it kind of makes sense because at that point the group was very severed. So that's kind of nice. I don't know if that's going to really matter in the long run, but yeah, that's that's good. 
Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. <laughs> well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Well, damn. You just hopped on him and right, went at that. it? Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. I was going to say, who's making that noise? I just realized it's Arva. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Good luck, man, because he didn't want to talk to me. Sounds like a waste of good rum. Kenny, please. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? Yeah, that makes it even yeah. Harder to deal with. Just... I don't like it either, but we shouldn't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. Okay, well, you said your piece. Let's just... Not I don't rock think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Yeah, he's not having Sorry, any of it. okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! This kid sounds like Zuko from <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender. Not literally, but the way he just said, leave me alone. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Can you leave the really? baby with one of them, though? You don't have to have him with you at I, all, so. Uh, don't mention it. <sighs> Whatever. He did good. It was nice while it lasted. <sighs> yeah. So for those of you who are just joining in and you're wondering what Arvo was freaking out about just now, uh, his sister died at the start of the episode. So he's, like, really pissed off at us for that. But it's his own fault because if he hadn't tried to rob us, there wouldn't have been a shootout and she wouldn't have gotten killed. So, yeah. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm uh, really starting to think you're Can I... It can't be much further. Just... Look out! There's a walker! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah. Couldn't I do something instead of just... Okay, I can shoot him. Okay. Jesus Christ. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Oh, he what? has the baby. Holy walker shit. came okay. out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. Yeah. It's very close. Come. I'm sorry, AJ, but we had to kill it. Sorry for the noise. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. It's better than nothing, Kenny. Stop being so dramatic, okay? We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? Yeah. You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Yeah, but it's better than nothing, Kenny. I mean, we've Are been we outside for over? God knows how long. Oh, wait, seriously? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Guys, this is well, suicidal. I'm Say it an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No not... shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out, just to be safe. This is crazy. Less weight, the better. This is insane. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. 
Oh my lord. This is insane. I'd rather go the long way. I'm sorry. There's just no fucking way. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Guys. Oh, and it's cracking. I hear it under my feet. No. 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 <laughs> We're okay. Don't worry. Don't say that. That's like famous last words. You never say that while you're actually there doing something. See, look what you did. Look what you did, Luke. We got some walkers behind us. Yeah, I know. Told you of them. You should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Kenny, don't freak him out. Oh, oh Lord. Well. Better them than us. Too less to deal with. Yeah. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Why are you? Motherfucker! Oh, for Shit. God's sake, He's gonna guys! Kill him. Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you! Don't run with the baby! Oh my lord, guys! Let you what is wrong with you idiots? No, Kenny, don't run! Fucking hell, guys! Just use your goddamn brains. Well, at least he made it over with the baby, okay? Now it's just us. Well, they made it. Yeah. Got me scared for no fucking reason. <sighs> Don't come over here. Okay, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. <sighs> you got walkers on the way. Let me it's help too you. Too thin for both of us. I just. I just gotta be careful. Oh, 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 no! Stop. God. Stop! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! I just gotta pull myself out. You need help, Luke! The ice is too thin! I got it! You need to help! No! Why do I need to help? Clem, oh, well, go, I see go, why. Clem, I'm my way less. Go back for him. You're light. You Stop can do telling it. her that! Cliff, look at me. Pull out your gun. And shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Claim you can make it, but you... Okay. So this is one of the decisions that I was talking about um, earlier. You think I should try to inch my way over there and help Luke? Or do what he says and take my gun and try to shoot the walkers to hold them off? What do you think? I mean... He told me to take out my gun and shoot the walker, so he's basically telling me to stay back, keep safe, and at least hold them off, and he can maybe try to get himself out of there. Going over there, I mean, he would be appreciative of me going back over there to help him, but at the same time, it puts me needlessly at risk, you know? And the ice is already cracking as is. Even though I am light, like Bonnie says, I don't think... It really justifies getting myself I don't know you know what I mean like Clem could fall into the water too and then we'll have a bigger issue on our hands then we have to worry about saving two people versus the one person so what do you guys think should I actually tell Clem to run back over there and help him or should I uh, just do what he says and take my gun and shoot Also, I just realized I never changed the uh, the title. If you shoot, you'll make a lot of them come. And then if you go to help, he's probably going to get wet. And then what if Clem runs out of ammo? Yeah. I mean, depending on how many are there, I'm pretty sure she's not going to be able to shoot all of them. But I guess he's reasoning it would shoot enough of them to at least get rid of the ones that are immediately upon him. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Or drag, yeah, or draw more walkers. So I guess you're basically saying, Jove, not to shoot then. To try to run back and help him. Is that what you're trying to say? Hmm. 
I mean, this is a sucky decision no matter what, but... I think I find it kind of ironic, too, because back in episode three, like when right after Kenny got beaten up by Carver and they were talking about escaping, you know, the community and Luke was all like, well, we might have to make a decision where we have to leave somebody behind. And everybody was like, we're not leaving Kenny. And Luke was like, I don't want to leave Kenny either, but it's something that we might have to do. So in a weird way, I feel like it's kind of mirroring what happened in that episode. And that, um, I don't know, like Luke in a, in a way was kind of telling us to stay back. You know, he doesn't want us to get hurt too. You know, like if push came to shove, it's not worth losing you guys too. If I have to fall, then I'll fall at least by myself. But at the same time, yeah, it doesn't look good for him. Let's put it that way. Anybody else in chat? What do you think? We got a lot of indecisiveness. Not that I'm helping the situation either, but I do like to let the chat contribute a little bit too to the story, so. That's why I pause to see what you guys think I should do next. Help him, fuck it. <laughs> okay, got one vote for go and go back and help him. Anybody else wants to try to turn the tide? Because otherwise I'm going to go back and help him. I vote for shooting him. I mean, uh, I vote for shooting. Trust him. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> I need a swing vote. What do you guys think? Should I just shoot and try to cover him or run back and help him? Right now, it's split down the middle. I think we're about halfway through this episode, too. So... Oh, you change your mind, so you want me to just try to cover him to shoot shoot the the walkers? Okay. All right. So we're gonna cover him. This is gonna be interesting. Need to go. <laughs> no. No. Clem, it's too dangerous. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. All right. You're not gonna make I, it. My mother, hey. I just Hold need on, him. I got you. Just a second. Uh, keep him off us, Clem. No, no, it's too much. Too Shut much up. Race. Shut the fuck up. I got gotcha. you. Oh, Lord have mercy. The stupid is strong with this one. Why? Uh, why are you standing there? Wait, I hear. I hear. Where are you? Ooh, okay. Uh, do I shoot it? Okay, keep hitting. Too late. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. Nothing more you can do. I gotta keep trying. Oh well, there's that shit. Oh damn. How did he die that quickly? That doesn't make any sense. How is he dead already? Oh, fuck. It's okay, I got you. No. I got you. Come on. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go. To the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. <sighs> well, that happened. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Not now, Kenny. I need to There's get warm. There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get the morgue. They're gonna freeze to death. Oh my god, look how blue her skin is. It's Don't be gone. giving me dirty looks, man. Look fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. It's my fault. I, sh I should have stayed with him. Once that I started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You gotta. You could have helped him. 
Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. It's not really on Arvo either. Just you stop looking. Son of a bitch. Kenny. This is your fucking fault. Kenny, it's not his Kenny, fault. Kenny, don't, man. Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault. Can you get? I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire yeah, started? Yeah. Yeah. Yelling at Arvo's not gonna get me warm. Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking Kenny. Toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Kenny, now is not the time for this nonsense. Fuck you. Ooh. You fucking commie piece of shit, Kenny. Okay, that's not okay, that's not cool, Kenny. I don't care how angry you are. No. Nope. Oh Lord. You mother <laughs> fuck, Kenny. Kenny. your taste for this sort of thing oh don't even go there Kenny this is different this is completely different than what, what did happened you do to him <sighs> there's another just like it he wasn't lying can I get warm please I mean you want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help how is baby? beating a kid to death gonna help anyone this is your fault and you damn well know it. Wait, why are you pointing the finger at Kenny now? What did he do? Come on, guys. You start fighting with one, one another, you're gonna fall Fine. apart. Knock it off. Mike, help me get a fire started. Thank you. you. Okay. These hurt real bad. Mike. Can we focus yeah. on, you know, yeah, not okay. getting hypothermia and then you can worry about Arvo? Just saying. You got a light? I thought I had matches. You kept it. Nice. Maybe, but I think all his teammates had died earlier in the episode so there was nobody coming to save him basically plus he's got a busted leg so it's not like he could have ran far or I don't know I'm not condoning what he did earlier to us but at the same time it doesn't necessarily justify how ridiculous Kenny is being you know let me take a look There's at no need you. to be racist Jesus. and Arvo's not the reason why Luke fell through the ice, so it's not his fault in that sense. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Just like old times. Here, you should eat something. Doesn't look appetizing, but... You okay? Yeah. It's interesting that Mike is like the only one that's able to talk to Arvo, too. I can't believe he's gone. I've yeah, you just missed it, Blue. It just hasn't felt this... this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. That must have been some good sex. I mean... <sighs> I shouldn't have come back. She's caught feelings. I knew this would happen. I knew it. <sighs> yeah. Always does. We'll be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Me neither, Mike. Feeling better? Yeah. <sighs> Hell of a day. Yeah. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. Um. This house ain't worth the crap, but the okay. vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little yeah. luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. Nightfall? That's Can't we wait until problem. the morning? You know, I'll like when it's warmer? 
I'll watch him. Oh, now, so you, now all of a sudden you care about the baby. All right, whatever. Clem. Yeah. Just be careful. I know. That's kind of the reason why I want to just go and placate him right now, you know? Even if we can't get the truck started, at least maybe talking to him one-on-one -on -one might be uh, a good thing. Also, this is going to be awkward, because uh, I see Bonnie standing outside. What did she have to say? She didn't say anything. I know she was running her mouth. Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Yeah, really. really. Penny. Clem doesn't have a reason to lie to you. It's over. But AJ needs <laughs> Good old us plot now. armor, Jangles. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. All right. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch, but he taught me respect girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. And the lines are drawn. Um, but I will admit... She's not easy to like. Well, that's putting it mild. Feels like another Lily situation to me. Mmm. You know, I've never All actually right. looked at it that way. Give it a turn. Come on, up. Up. I'm trying, Kenny. It's We're not so my fault. Close, Clem. I'm trying. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Okay. I'm gonna try again. Wellington's gotta be out there. Well, those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. So, for those of you wondering what Wellington all is... Right, turn it again. It's a community, like, at the northern border of the U.S., did you turn like it? it? Yes. God damn it! Calm the fuck down. I'm trying to commentate here. Okay, hold on. Wellington is a development, I think, in Maine, they said. You know, way, way at the north of the U.S. And the reason why they're trying to get there is because they reasoned that because of the cold, it slows down the walkers. So at the start of the season, that's actually where Clementine and her other friend, Krista, were headed. And then they got separated. And so it kind of worked out, too, because when she finally reunited with Kenny, Kenny was like, we were thinking of going to uh, to Wellington. So that's kind of the goal now that everything's kind of calmed down a bit. They're trying to get to Wellington because, um, you know, if the walkers move slower in the, in the cold than in the winter, it would be safer to deal with them versus being, you know, like in the southern part of the U.S. Not to say that, the South doesn't get snow, but like Miami, you know, Florida, Texas, like those states don't really see snow like that. So the walkers would still be up and about like normal. So that's where we're trying to get right now. Also, let's just try to be a little optimistic. We'll get it working. You got that other wreck working before. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. Yeah, I know. I gotta get this thing to start. I know, Kenny. Gonna try warming up the battery. Okay. Go on inside. All right. No I don't problem. like leaving him with that girl. But yeah, Kenny, he's been through a lot these past two seasons, so... It's like I'm trying not to be biased, you know, because of that. You know, like I do understand, you know, between survivor's guilt and then just the trauma of losing your wife, your son... And then now, your, you know, your girlfriend. That can take its toll on people. Not to mention, I have no idea what's happened to him in between the time skip. Apart from that. So, he has a reason to be the way he is. But at the same time, he's definitely a broken man. And eventually, it's going to come to a head. Also, this is going to be interesting. Um, I didn't want to comment on it before. But the decision to either save Luke... Well, you know, like to go back and help him or to cover him on the on the lake, you know, while the walkers were closing in. 
it's going to greatly impact Bonnie's opinion of you going forward. So watch what's going to happen now if I try to like talk to her. So remember how Bonnie was for the most part nice to us, I guess you could say, or sympathetic towards us. Watch what's going to happen now. What do you want? Complete 180. I just wanted to see how you work. How do you think? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Well, bye, bitch. So yeah, she does not like me anymore. At all. At all. And it's kind of implied by her reaction there that she really did, like, care for Luke, like, more than a friend. Not to mention that the fact that he said sorry to her after the whole Luke and Jane thing. Hey. I don't know if they were dating, but I feel like they had something going on to the I point where he had to apologize up, so for it, you know? God damn it. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. <sighs> I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. Well, yeah, that's true. She kind of got him killed, but... I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. It's not entirely her fault either, you know? Carver he did nice tell her too. to yes. cover him. Probably had a so nice he was job, more or less telling her, nice, stay back, be safe, and, all this and I'll try to get myself One out. One day he kicked so... some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Yeah, true. Very true, Jove. Um... You might be right. Yeah. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. Yeah, you're right, Jane. I have been kind of cutting Kenny some slack, but I'm not blind to his faults either. Something. Also, it's not an it. It's a boy, Jane. Seems like you've done that before. Yeah, unfortunately I have. Do you want to try? Wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. How do you know Clint, that? No. Just hold him. God, stop being such a pansy. Move it like this. You gotta support his head. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it pukes. It pukes. <laughs> It could have been a lot worse, Jane. You got lucky. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Yeah. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. Yeah. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Really? Lost four people before we got him out. Hmm. <sighs> Did he make it after all that? So he made it? Damn. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. Damn. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Oh, he got it working. He got it working. I, I just said that. It works? what I tell you? Kenny's good at repairing stuff, so I'm not that surprised he got so it working. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. We need to get and the hell the out of here. And we need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. 
I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Uh, fuck no. that. I was thinking more like Texas. No. Texas? The fuck? We need to go just north. An idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Yeah. Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. We, we're closer right. to the north Clem. than we are to the south. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, don't be I don't give that two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And okay, we're heading I don't. Fucking north. I, it's the Kenny, best chance we got to help an AJ. I don't agree with that mentality. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, oh he ain't coming with us. <sighs> You're just Kenny. gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. We should Guys, ask him what he wants. There's a concept. Jane, don't you start. He knows with the me. area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. He I didn't, didn't get Luke killed. Situation. But maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. Yeah, you that's true. That, Kenny? Yeah. Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah. Like I said, we need to go in the morning. There. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. <sighs> God damn it! You can't just walk away from us! Fucking hell, Kenny. This is just like uh, Kenny and Lily all over again. Wow, never realized the parallels. In that case, you this is not shaping out to be good at all. Because that didn't end so well. Sake. He's not gonna listen to me. He's in a mood. He's in one of his moods right now. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! Uh, it's me. Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say, I know you're not talking to me like that. Close the door. Okay. Yes. Can we Can just, you like, believe this, Clem? chill the fuck I out, though? I'm a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. They're just I knew scared. Jane stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. But I do well, think we should leave we in the morning. Tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Oh. Clem. That's Think about true. Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. Well, I got Lee killed. I'll slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. He would be if it wasn't for Clem. And I know she carries that say? with her every day. He... I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. And that we should keep moving. Yeah, he did I say that. Right. Yeah, he did say that. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Mm-hmm. That's you why know, I think it exists. When I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now grown up. Uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. 
Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Okay. Well, at least on. you're not. Let's get some sleep. Yeah. Cause we gotta be ready. Cause just leaving in a huff and being all angry and agitated, that's not gonna help the situation. I think that's another reason too why I was like, let's leave in the morning. Sleep on it, get some rest. I get what he's saying about the baby formula running out soon, but. Also, nice attention to detail. I just noticed that her cut's been healing gradually over the last few episodes. But what is that noise I'm hearing? What the hell is that? Oh. I was gonna say, well, who's hammering? What the fuck? What's... What are you guys doing? Well, I can clearly tell that that's Mike, and it looks like Arvo. Yeah. No, actually, just... Really? You gonna pull a gun on me, man? Really? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Okay, well, at least Mike's not being a total idiot right now. What are now. you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. Okay, this is a really shitty thing, guys. You're leaving us with no supplies and the baby. It's not even like you're trying to take the baby with you. Don't Fuck off. Down, all right? That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay. Oh yeah, and what oh, about me? Kenny? What about the baby? You're not taking yeah, us. Just, we don't have You're leaving us to die. Come on, Mike. Let's just go. Oh, so now you don't give two shits about the baby, Bonnie. I see how it is. Your boy toy's dead, and now you just Ugh. All right, Clem. I'm aiming. Now I'm gonna walk up to you. Nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? Fucking Kenny, hell. Jane, help! They're robbing us! You piece of shit. No! Clem! Oh my god. Jesus! God, Mike, we have to go. Just leave her. Oh, just leave her? Fuck you, Bonnie. Fuck you. What the fuck did you do? What did you do? Skin him alive. Skin him alive. Clem. Clementine. Oh, don't do this game. Oh, <laughs> game, no. Lee? Oh, she even Just has her baby voice again. Oh, no. What was it about? The duck? I wish it was only about duck. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. This throwback right the now. Mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. Oh my god. I forgot about this scene. I'm not ready for this, I guys. I bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Yeah. Not justifying it, though. Have you ever been that angry? One time. 
yeah. Graham, people don't always make sense. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Mm-hmm. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I still don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. I think you did, How given the you circumstances. Know? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. Yeah. Very I don't true. want to hurt anyone. I know, Clem. It's not that easy. Yeah. That we had to make some me. tough decisions for your sake. What can I tell you to make it better? <sighs> that it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> oh God, no! Don't, don't, don't you start crying. I don't have tissues nearby. Don't you start crying. Now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. God, can you imagine how much different the season would have played out if Lee survived? Like, holy shit. Come to think of it, probably half of this stuff wouldn't have even happened. Because Lee would have steered her in the right direction. <sighs> so many what ifs, what ifs. On the left. Why the hell do you have the wipers on? Slow down. Shut up. Oh, because of the snow. She's awake. <clears throat> Did you at least patch me up? Hey, you. I I am. Oh, thank God. You passed out from the shock. Am I gonna be okay? You should be. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't oh, find shit. the bullet. Must have gone clean through. Okay, well that's a relief. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those okay. sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? Yeah, I'm I a little surprised at him that he did that. Go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? He never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I should have done something. They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. We're closer Carver's to the north, camp. though. What the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. Oh, What's come that? the You're hell talking into on. my bad ears, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howes in a day. Tell you what, mm. we could turn around. Okay, just that as soon actually as you does sound like a, a cold decent plan. Fires. How's that sound? But Whatever. we don't know if the bad guys are still there. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Oh, your real, turn. real Grow mature. Up. Yeah, exactly. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. Okay, that's Shut not... Shut your fucking mouth. Come on, Jane. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Oh, no, nobody Lord. cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? 
It's your family, right? Don't. Jane. It is, isn't it? Jane. I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just this another isn't... type A asshole trying to save a Actually, bunch of Actually, hold dead on a second, guys. People. Give me one second. Seriously, she is just instigating shit right now. Holy hell. Give me one second. I gotta, uh... The one time I don't mute my Steam notifications and I'm getting messaged like crazy. Hold on a second. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna have it pause for a second because I just want to catch up with chat. They both have valid points. It's just right now, again, tensions are high and it's just a back and forth right now. So that's why I'm a little annoyed at both of them. Um, yeah. She, you know, Jane does have a point in that sense. And after hearing what she said about the hardware store, I didn't realize it was that close to them. Like, if that was the case, I would have actually said, let's go back to the hardware store, you know? Um, but my thinking is, too, we don't know at this point if the hardware store is abandoned. Because we, when we left it, it was being overrun by walkers. And Carver's community was still there, as far as we knew. So, for all we know, we could be going back into a very dangerous situation. But it is closer, in hindsight than Wellington. But I still feel like Wellington is the better plan overall, but maybe we should go back to the hardware store, see if we can get stuff for at least the baby, and then maybe us, and then head north. But I don't know, like it's kind of weird because the group is all dispersed now. It's literally just Kenny, Jane, AJ, and Clementine. I don't know, like Jane has this mentality, you know, survival of the fittest, lone wolf type of personality. I really do feel like she came back solely for Luke, even though she does seem to have a bit of a soft spot for Clementine. So, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like maybe... <sighs> I really don't know. I really don't know how to... Uh... <sighs> yeah. It's, like I said, this is a really, like, tough decision. Like, I totally get where she's coming from in that regard. Um, and again, I don't want to sound like I'm being biased towards Kenny, because a lot of the times, uh, you know, I don't know. He's not in a good, in, in a good place. Like, I will admit that. I'm not blind to the fact that he's a broken man. And he gets, like, really angry easily. Like, he used to get angry before in the past. But he would... <sighs> he would eventually mellow out. Like, lately with him, it's just been escalating, escalating, escalating. And it's going to boil over. And that's that's what I'm concerned about. So, yeah. Not looking good at all. This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. Not you listen to me. Really. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. Kenny. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Okay, Kenny? that's not... Huh? Where were you? That's not there. necessary. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Jane, Kenny loves Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Okay, that's not fair. You know that's the not thing fair, about Jane. people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Actually, Bonnie, it is, Sarita, but this is not that the way true. to... Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. Oh, I told God you sake. not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! What the hell Will you, you pay attention to the road? Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem. You all right? Yeah. Seriously, guys, Jenny, the fuck? I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? 
If you're going, go now. Can Fine, you? just go. We need a fucking, fucking breather right now. Well, you're not helping instigating shit, can't Jane. Do this anymore. You didn't I'm have to bring up his point. family. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Yeah. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You didn't have to bring up his family, though. Don't even try to just make it all about him. You weren't helping the situation just Clem, now. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Snowing. Why are they moving? It's they probably must not, not be cold enough yet. Yeah. Fuck. I was just getting ready to say that. Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Again? Don't why? Just... Okay, okay. Why is the eleven-year-old driving? She can barely see over the dashboard. What a Jason. stupid. Shit. Oh, oh lord. Oh my god. Holy shit. Get out of there! I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, well You're it's dead. Move. Okay, okay, can I Clem? Okay, Clem, okay. Hurry. Okay, okay. Get out! Hurry! Jane. Woman, I'm moving! I'm moving! Oh lord. Jane, wait! Oh lord. Can I quick time? Do I hit? Okay, shoot him. Yeah, there we go. Jane! You're so close to the end, I think. Well, yeah, this is a thing. I know I keep saying that, but that's like all you can say sometimes when all this stuff starts happening at once. Oh, oh, I'm moving again. Also, what is that on the side of my screen? Is this trying to imply that I can't see because of the snow? I don't like that. Also, if I could help it, I would want—I wouldn't want to really draw attention to myself. So, can we just walk? Because I can hardly see in front of me. I don't think it's smart to start shooting my gun. I'm just saying. Just a thought. Okay, I see another one there. Oh my god, I can't even. Clem's got more balls than everybody in this chat room right now. I'm sorry to say that, but there's just no fucking way. Like, I'm almost three times her age, and there's just no fucking way. Um... I guess this way then? Because I clearly see something to my right. I don't think I should go towards the walker, but this looks like nothing but trees. Oh! That's why it looked like trees, because of the icicles. Okay. Can I get inside? Is there, like, a rest stop? Ooh, yes. Enter it. Yes, go. We got Jane? separated. It's not like I wanted to leave him with her. Oh god, here we go. Here Jane! We go. We're gearing up for the big finale. Oh god. Wait. <sighs> oh 
Oh, thank Christ. What? What? Oh, you see her. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? Fucking say something. He's... What are you saying? No. No! No. Kenny, where are you again. going? Not again. Oh, God, and the fact that she said... Okay, yeah. I, I gotta try to remember that. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. What do you mean, stay out of it? Okay. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. <sighs> really not looking forward to the rest of this episode. I'm just gonna give you a warning right now. Jane, get out of here, Clem. Now! Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. I oh, won't back here we go. You. Shut up. Here we, we go. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck off! Fuck you! Don't! No! I didn't like any of those choices. So yeah, this is the big final decision, I guess you could say, for this episode. To either shoot Kenny in Jane's defense, or to not shoot and let it be. Now, I'm trying to hold back my anger because I already know what's going to happen um, either way. and. <laughs> you have no idea the very first time I played this guys no exaggeration I literally paused the game like I did just now I got up and I walked away I didn't come back to the game for like a good hour like I was so upset that the game was making me do this and holy shit <sighs> so I got two I got oh wait okay Joe was saying shooter Jangles is saying, let him kill her. Uh, okay, he's the other, okay. He's saying, don't shoot him. She left the baby. So I got two people that are saying, don't shoot him. Okay, um, Jangles, don't... I don't know if it was easy for them because it's easy 
to tell Jane is pulling some shit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when um when she said whatever happens, stay out of this. Like who says that? Like if anything, she would just say, you know, I got this, you know, just don't get in the middle of it, you know, it's going to be okay. I don't know, it's like the way she worded it. It set off like red flags in my mind the very first time I played this and again now like I thought maybe I was hearing things the first time I played it but she said it again um oh damn now we're split in the middle again two was saying to shoot him two was saying to not shoot him Kenny is already acting like that Carver guy okay yeah you know what I'm not even gonna get into that right now I'm gonna save it for the end because I know that's going to get bought up again, so I'll give my opinion about the whole Kenny Carver thing, but um, I need a swing vote because I got two people saying shoot him and two people saying um, let him basically kill Jane, so it's going to be very uh, interesting going forward, regardless of what I do choose, but it's going to impact, I think, what's going to happen in Season 3. And again, if there's anybody in chat who's actually played or seen Season 3, please do not spoil it for me, because I am planning on playing it on the channel at some point once I buy it. It's still split down the middle. I need a swing vote. Save him or put him at peace. We got about nine people in the chat. I got two votes. I need at least one other person. To say something. Because if you leave it up to me. <laughs> I already know what I would do. In this situation. So. Yeah. I need a swing vote. I need a swing vote. I need a swing vote right now. Because I've already made it no secret that I don't care for Jane. So in a weird, morbid way, I would not care if she died. I hate to say it. Like, I, I really want to explain why I hated Jane this season. And what my thoughts are regarding her. And then my thoughts regarding Kenny and Carver as well. Because otherwise, like right now, you're probably thinking she's being too emotional about the decision. You need to be rational. <laughs> you untie it, Nova. It just seems really fucked up to, either way. Like, somebody's going to end up getting killed one way or the other. <sighs> Alright, fine. I'm going to untie it. <sighs> and it's going to be a rough decision because either way, I'm not going to be happy about it. But in a weird way... I, I think I have to do what I'm about to do, and I really hope I'm not going to make some enemies for this decision, but I will explain why I made this decision, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Clem. You made the right choice. I let you down. <coughs> I let everyone down. Did you make me do this? I'm 
sorry, Clementine. We almost made it. We were close, weren't we? <coughs> I thought I wanted this. Asked for it so many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. <coughs> I'm afraid, Clem. It's okay, Kenny. You're going to see Katja and Duck. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. Thank you, V. Thank you. Also, look at this shit, guys. Look at this shit right here. You have no idea how much I am trying to contain my anger right now. Are you okay? But I didn't want to spoil it, so that's why I didn't say anything. I understand. But I'm literally shaking right now. I'm so mad. never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that. You'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. Upset? You're fucking crazy. How could you do this? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. That was of. not the fucking way to. AJ exactly, you I got bitch. My friend killed just to prove a point. It was a stupid plan. No shit, Sherlock. I should never have lied to you, but I thought it was the only way you'd see me. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. For us. Okay, I actually forgot that there was this decision to make too. So, this is why I had been saying for the longest, guys, that I wasn't really a fan of Jane. Her method of delivery needs a lot of work. Like, a lot of work like I totally get what she was saying about Kenny and that he was basically a loose cannon he was gonna hurt somebody at some point but this did not need to happen like Kenny did not need to needlessly get killed and she didn't need to put AJ in harm's way like I know I normally would save this conversation for the end but this needs to be addressed right now like for all she fucking knows the baby could have froze to death in that car you know, if we never found him again in time, a walker could have gotten into the car and ate him alive. Like, so much shit could have happened to that kid while she was away. So, I do not approve of this in the slightest. You know, like, there were so many different ways that she had to do this. Um, and again, I do understand what she was trying to say about Kenny, but at the same fucking time... Like, why needlessly cause this drama? Like, holy fucking shit. Like, this, to me, is unforgivable. Like, I'm not for, I'm not condoning what Kenny did at all. Like, he was literally going to stab her to death. Which is why I conceded and shot him. Like, I think realistically, like, again, I kept saying, I can't be biased towards Kenny, even though I really like him a lot more than Jane. But he, you know, he needed to be... It needed to be addressed. It needed to be addressed. Um, can you kill her? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't think at this point you can. Basically, the game is saying that you are you can either choose to forgive her and stay with her, or you choose not to forgive her and you just go off on your own with the baby. So, this is actually the last decision that I'm going to try to uh, make here. Do I just say, you know, fuck off and just leave her? Or do I stay with her? 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still fucking livid at her because this was just not the way to do it. And Clint's fault. Why not aim for his... Yeah. You, you are right. You are right about that. You are right about that. I know, Jangles. I'm sorry. Watch, watch my follow count go down now <laughs> because of this. Yeah, I real I really don't like Jane. Like she's even shown evidence of this throughout the season that I don't want to say she's a sociopath, but you know, like when she was talking about her little sister and she was saying how she would deliberately like give her you know bad haircuts and put gum in her hair. And how, like, when they went to the amusement park, she would pretend that they weren't, you know, related and stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe that's not enough information to go off on. But Jane has shown that she has some really um, dark tendencies, you know? Like, everybody's like, oh, well, Kenny's, you know, acting all irrational and stuff. Which is true. But they always say you got to watch out for the quiet ones, you know? Like, Kenny didn't make it, uh, didn't make it uh, hidden that he had issues but then everybody's so busy looking at kenny nobody's looking at what jane's doing you know like you saw what she did back in episode three with uh troy she literally tried to sweet talk him you know into like lowering his weapon which he did like a dumbass and then she shot him at point blank range in the balls like who thinks to do stuff like that like that's pretty that's pretty sadistic you know Mary Jane, of course you would like her. Oh my god. So what do you think? I should team up with her? Even though she pulled that really douchebag stunt? Or should I try to go at, go at it alone? Actually, you know what? Hmm. He's sane totally. She's a little too cold for my liking. I think that's what my issue with her. I'm not saying that Kenny's not at fault either, because sometimes he does think a little too. Would you leave me hanging, Nova? Think about it. She's kind of like Lee. <sighs> We're going to have to fight, Jove, because I have a hard time with you linking Jane and Lee in the same category. Don't worry, V. I'm going to... I'm going to talk to you soon. I just want to finish this uh, episode and then we'll talk, okay? Um, But you know what? Considering the circumstances right now, it probably does make the most sense to... We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. I mean, I don't, but I do. How about that? Thank you. How about that? Thank you, Clem. Oh, you Jangles, right don't say Clem. that. All along, you knew what he was going to do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. All right, I'll accept it when I um get the screen up. I got most of my screens minimized right now, so I'll accept it as soon as I finish. But yeah, that was my big issue with Jane. Again, like, I try not to be too emotional when I make these decisions, but at the same time, what she did right now, like, to try to quote-unquote prove her point about Kenny, not cool. Not fucking cool. Now, I like to think of it this way, too. If the shoe was on the other foot, and if it was Kenny pulling this stunt, I want to bet everybody would be all like, oh, well, Kenny needs to die. You know, he's wrong for doing that. So, in a way, it's kind of weird that because Jane did it, I don't know, it just feels like that to me, in a bit, in a way, you know? Can't see much from here. Come on. Oh, hi, Carver. How you feeling? You don't look so good. I don't, I don't know how you were able to watch that. It was fun. It was loads of fun. Yeah, I was glad I did it. I'm glad I did. He was a piece of shit, that one. 
I'm surprised the walkers didn't eat him. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. I... Just stay behind me. Clem. Yeah, that was my thinking too, Jangles. Why I wasn't really too big of a fan. She, she pops in and out whenever she pleases, you know? They don't look armed. Also... Is this your place? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Really? It yeah. is now. Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. And we've been walking for weeks. <sighs> Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? It, yeah. My kid. I mean, I didn't Where birth him, but he's been? my kid. Why do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Everywhere. All over. You, uh, been up north? Yeah. Yeah, us too. So, Keep your eye on him. there is no this Wellington? This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Ah, uh, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you, as a father, please, don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. It could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please, we'll die out here. Just give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. I don't know if we can you trust won't regret you, though. I promise you. you I'm sorry. You have to let us in. Leave. What? You heard me. Now. I, I was just Please. getting ready to say that. You heard don't me. Don't do this. Are you sure you want to do this, little girl? I mean, what if... What if we're dangerous? You want to get stupid with me right now? I'm not what in the mood. I am? Mmm, that's my girl, Clem. You don't take that tone of voice with me. Come on, honey. Let's go. You gave me the stink eye. You almost never mind. Oh, I gotta censor myself a bit. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. After looking at that kid, I wasn't sure if I could. <sighs> but we had to. Fine. We have to look out for ourselves now. Sometimes. You have to hurt someone else to protect the people you care about. Oh, God. Told me that once. She's quoting Lee. They might come back. I'm sorry, kid, but I don't know your stepdad and mom from a hole in the wall. I'm sorry. And that was season two, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Shoot him in the ass. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Holy shit. I'm looking at the final decision. Holy shit. Damn. Okay, we're going to go from top to bottom. So, kind of split in the middle. Uh, me and 58% of the players protected the baby. Because, I mean, Rebecca dropped him when she got shot, so he would have been a sitting duck. That was kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, went to help Luke. You and 66% uh, of players did not try to help Luke. So, again, um, the ice was already giving... And he said himself, don't come back for me. Like, just keep the walkers off of me. So even though I kind of left it to chat to make the final call, that's what I was thinking to begin with. Like, to just cover uh, the walkers. At least he would have more time to, you know, drag himself out of the ice. 
um, versus going back out there. Like, yeah, I get it. I did weigh less than Bonnie, so I could have theoretically gone back there, but I know in a way Luke wouldn't have wanted me to put myself at risk, so yeah. Uh, loyalty. Asked to leave with Mike. Huh. You and 80% of players did not ask to leave with Mike. Now, I hadn't, I wasn't really thinking about it at the time, but the reason why I didn't actually try to ask him or try to talk sense into him is because his very actions kind of showed me that I couldn't really rely on him anymore. Like, if I hadn't snuck out of the cabin to see what was making that noise, they would have drove off in the night with our truck and with all of our supplies. So even if they were like, well, we can't stay here anymore because of Kenny, blah, 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 you know, we don't feel safe. They were basically dooming Clementine to die. They were dooming the baby to die. So fuck that. Like, who's to say that down the road, if something came up and they had to make a choice between, you know, Clementine and or the baby, that they wouldn't just leave me behind, you know? So fuck that. And fuck Arvo. Fuck him in the air. Uh survivalism so pretty split down the middle here did you shoot kenny nothing really to talk about that because i already kind of talked about my feelings about my decision to um to shoot kenny um the whole carver thing like him being like carver like <sighs> part of me doesn't want to say that but at the same time i don't know of the circumstances that led Carver to be the way he is, you know? So Carver could have had a very similar backstory like Kenny, but at the same time, Kenny was kind of displaying some traits that Carver had, like with the whole Arvo thing. Like again, I'm not really defending Arvo. He was wrong for lying about us robbing him and then shooting Clementine, like what the fuck? But at the same time, Kenny didn't have to go as hard on him as he did and then like when he was blaming him for what happened to luke he didn't make luke fall through the ice you know we all decided to walk across the fucking lake together you know i was all for like walking around the edge but everybody wanted to go across the ice because that was the quick way and if kenny hadn't like kept threatening arvo arvo probably wouldn't again it's not really arvo's fault because he ran across the ice he got across everything was fine that didn't basically cause Luke to fall through, so that wasn't fair to blame it on Arvo in that sense, you know? So, Kenny was rapidly losing it, you know? He was already past a certain point, and I think that's one another reason, too, why I chose to shoot him, because he needed to be at peace. Like, he even said back in episode four earlier today that he kind of wished that Carver killed him because at that point he was just so broken, you know? He had lost uh, his wife and son. Sarita was still alive at that point, but he had kind of given up when that happened. So, I don't know. Sometimes when people get so depressed that they contemplate suicide or ending their own life, sometimes, I don't know, you know? Like, I personally have dealt with that feeling myself in real life feelings of depression and wanting to commit suicide and stuff so in a weird way i kind of got what kenny was saying but at the same time sometimes you just got to keep pushing forward to you know because you, you have others that are out there that depend on you you know like he had clementine to uh take care of and <laughs> your roommate is upset with me oh tell her tell her i'm so sorry i'm so sorry I'm so sorry. But I think in a in a weird way it had to be done. Um cuz Kenny he was gradually losing it. He was gradually losing it and I don't know. Like I do know this much that depending on who you save, you do find out what happens to them in season 3. Again, do not spoil it for me. But I don't think it would have ended well. Like, I can't even imagine what he would have been like in season three if he had lived. I'm going to play it again off camera for myself. Like, when I do get season three, obviously I'll play it through on the channel. And then I'll play it through again, but with my alternate choices. Like, I do want to see what happens to Kenny uh, if you choose to save him 
you know, and drag him from season two into season three. So at the end, um, who are you with? So really surprised to see that 10% of players, including myself, chose to be with Jane. So the majority either opted to stay with Kenny or went by themselves. So that's actually pretty interesting because it does seem like a lot of people like Jane. And again, I kind of get why, but at the same time, I just do not care for her. I just really don't. Like, she just did not sit well with me. Like, I never really got along with girls that well growing up, being a tomboy and everything. But, um, Jane especially, I didn't care for her at all. So I'm looking forward to see what becomes of her in season three. Like, I think it's safe to say that her and Clementine go separate ways, considering that, like, all the trailers that you saw for season three didn't show any hints of, you know, Jane or Kenny. Although I think it's probably fair to say that they couldn't really show that because then it would be spoiling what happens at the end of season two, I guess. But it will be interesting to see what happens now. <laughs> so yeah, so I think once the credit- holy shit, I've been lying for seven hours. Damn, this is the longest I've streamed. Holy shit. Wow. Thank you guys for sitting here and, uh, listening to me ramble and whatnot for seven hours. Yeah, it's like seven hours and 42 minutes. Holy shit. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it, you know, especially with me becoming affiliate recently. Um, just the viewership really helps me out, so I really do appreciate you guys stopping in here. So, tomorrow's agenda, since season two is all finished, I have no idea what I'm gonna play. Like, maybe I'll continue this war of mine. Uh, there's also those three other games that Freaks bought me, um, that I still have yet to finish. Maybe I'll play one of those. Uh... I don't know. Like, there's a lot of games that I still have on my computer that I haven't played yet that I could play on stream. But I'll tweet about it or post it in Discord. You know, once I actually finalize what I'm gonna do. I don't have Outlast 2 Velo. I is Poe. Although, from what I heard and a little bit that I have seen of it, holy shit, that game looks fucking crazy. Like, I think it's even more insane than the first one. Yeah, I keep telling you that you need to get back into streaming. You do have the personality type for it, you know? Even if it's only for like two hours or something, people would definitely sit and watch you. I've said that before. I wasn't bullshitting when I said that. Oh man, I feel so sad now that this is over. 